Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. <laughs> so we are here at the, what is this called? North Point? Something. North Point, Point. Landing RV Park. Here I didn't remember any of that. Kingsland, wow. Texas. And we are packing up to head out and head back home. We thought we could show you guys our pack up routine. I don't, Yeah, that's pretty hook up cool. routine. But in reverse? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, no, just I mean, going yeah. anywhere. Yeah, so we'll show you uh, kind of what we do. I'm sure everyone has a slightly different routine. Do a quick little hookup and then take off, hopefully. Yeah, we we basically have like a mental checklist that we go through whenever we're getting everything ready to go anywhere. Just head out. That's, that's it, just in case any of you guys don't have RVs um, and are curious, or if any of you guys that do have RVs are curious about our routine. But this yeah. is what we do. This is it. Yeah. Okay, so our first stop is to get gas. I We don't like to stop with the trailer if we don't have to. Like a, a few minutes drive to the nearest gas station. So we're gonna fill up and so that we don't have to get gas while we're on the road. Second stop. Get it again. Coffee. One of the, like the early steps that we do besides gas, coffee is clean. So we make sure the dishes, as many dishes are clean as possible, and then we clear everything off of the counters and uh, secure all this stuff like you guys saw in Monday's vlog. So I'm gonna do that, and Matt's getting the truck ready to put the dogs in eventually, and then we'll get to the next step. To go through the whole process right now of uh, how we hook up, how we basically get ready to go. Um, that's gonna, of course, he's drinking right now. Uh, so that's also gonna include us, you know, dumping our black water, the gray water, uh, hooking up everything to the back of the truck, pulling the slide out in, um, and kind of everything. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think Blair's already kind of gotten everything ready on the inside. Uh, to a point, <laughs> looks like Brady's trying to move a few things. <laughs> he can have so, his toy. He can have his toy. But I think everything's pretty much ready to go on the inside, so really we just need to hook up and then uh, and then go. But uh, we'll uh, kind of show you a few of the things that we do. Some of it's some of it's dirty, some of it's fun, some of it's hard work, and uh, but that's the RV life. Yeah, and I'd say on like total, it takes about an hour. Yeah, I mean we've done it in like 15, 20 minutes, but that in that included a lot of anger, a uh, little bit of rain that made us hurry, and then some stress. Yeah. So all of that yeah. included. Uh, that was like two or three trips ago, but yeah. So ideally, you want to have plenty of time. Yeah, carve out an hour if you can. Was that you know with RV travel, you can't be in a hurry because if you miss a step, like it could, it could be bad. Be, it could be bad. It yeah. could be a bad step to miss. Um, so we're gonna go do that. Yep. We'll start right now. Break. What are you doing now? So turning this off. Even though this is turned off, there's still pressure in the line. And so what I do is I just bleed the pressure. Bleed the pressure. Before we disconnect the power, I'm gonna go bring this light out in. All right, and so we also disconnect the power. Boop. Make sure that light turns off so we don't shock ourselves. And then disconnect. Disconnect. <laughs> Disconnect. Next, 
next we put, these are the sway bars. We hook up everything, which includes the sway bars, both sides, um, and then we hook up these, basically the security chains, then we hook up the brake control, we put on the sway control bar, and then we finish bringing up the rest of the uh, trailer. And I believe that's it, right? Right. Well. All right, you ready? Yeah, I think we're good. Double checked everything, dogs are in. Let's go. Everything. All right, trailer is moving as we move. Cool. So this rig up here is really, really nice. Holy smokes. Look at that. All right, so assuming everything goes well on the drive home, uh, basically once we get home, we just reverse exactly what we did right now. And that takes, usually getting back home is a little bit more quick because it's like a mad dash just to get comfortable again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head home and we'll see you guys when we get there. So we've got a couple blue bonnets out here. It's nowhere near what was in Kingsland. Just a few. And then we've got some more way over there. Stuff scratching in on our, our new driveway. Armadillas? I don't know, whatever pooping out here. <laughs> so what did Brady do earlier? He found some treats, some animal leavings. <laughs> He's still licking his lips from it. Yeah. Devoured that poop. Poop mouth. <laughs> poop mouth. Gross, Brady. Gross. <laughs> what is going on over here? Go, <laughs> boys! Oh, oh. Boy. <laughs> Stolen, Buzz. We're not gonna open the gate for you. Let me in. I need to get away. <laughs> Make his quick getaway. Uh oh. Brady, Brady. Uh oh. <gasps> Give me that. Oh my Give gosh, that was funny. Yeah. Oh. Oh shoot. <laughs> Drop it. Drop. Drop it. Brady, we're trying to we're trying to help the homeless here. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Oh my gosh. So now that that's over, uh, I am putting together six new care packages for March. So we've got these really cool ponchos, all of our necessities, um, the first aid kits. So yeah, a little bit of everything, and then we've got some more stuff in here, so I'm gonna put those together right so now. So we are back home from our trip, and everything went well, yeah. Um, yeah. for the most part, as far as- For the most part. Like, the travel and everything. Um, it was nice to kind of get the the cobwebs off, and I, I mean, literally, there were a lot of cobwebs on there, but then it was also good to get some experience of traveling and driving again for him mm -hmm. before we go on our big trip in May. Uh, so yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, the, the trip on the way back was actually easier on the way there uh, than on the way there. Uh, so it was just basically hooking back up and taking off and we hit a couple bumps and that was about it. <laughs> but uh, on the way there, uh, I had trouble with like gauging speed kind of um, and just I guess getting used to it again. Because uh, you know with the, uh, the 5 engine that we have, um, it actually has a little bit of lag going up a hill. And so we kind of stall out and then just kind of are stuck at the speed that we're at at that time. And so I'm sure it frustrates people behind me, but again, you just have to not care. Yeah. They <laughs> Too can, much. They can pass yeah. illegally if they are in that much of a hurry. Yeah. Uh, there's plenty <laughs> of passing areas too there yeah. as well. Uh, we did hit a little snag on the way back into the parking spot. I don't know if you remember the last time uh, we came into our parking spot, but literally we <laughs> always have some kind of trouble. So. We actually hit this branch up here this last time, or not the last time, but the time before, where what happened? Our, it knocked our TV antenna off. And, and then if you we, guys remember that, make sure and hit that thumbs up because that was that yeah. was quite a day. You were mad. Um, I was pretty mad. <laughs> but that's where we ended up putting our, our bowl. We have our bowl hole because we have a, a ceramic bowl that it's something. fit that hole perfectly. So as a temporary fix, yeah. we 
and just put it on top and then we put some sealant around until we and it looks okay there yeah we thought we were going to put the antenna back on but we don't watch tv so we were just like oh, yeah. just leave it why well, not we, we don't watch local <laughs> channels for sure so antenna is not even necessary at all so it's safe yeah but so, yeah but this time i uh i guess i got a little too close to that branch over there and so we uh or i ended up hitting the uh the ladder Mm -hmm. Our ladder is now, well, it is misshapen. So it, the whole <laughs> right side of that ladder, lumpy. this part that, that goes over the top of it, it just got bent down. And I was like, should I move forward or back? And I think she was saying something about like, well, you're already part of the way through. So I just went ahead and kept going. <laughs> and so what I guess it did is by the time I got to the end of it, it dislocated from the RV. And so I had to like bend it back. I hope you don't overlay anything. I just want you to show all this. <laughs> so I fingers. bent it back. And then I had to uh, take the little, basically I fixed it. Yeah, it's it, it looks a little off, mainly just because there's a little bend, but it's it works just fine. It's not moving at all. We I just resealed it. on top, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. I'm just getting confident with this RV. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I can fix anything in there. <laughs> yeah, just a big hole in the middle. I'll just seal it up with flex like, seal or something. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, so I, and Overall, the trip was, was good. good. Um, we didn't run into any sketchy individuals in our park because I know that we kind of joked about that. Uh, although it was just weird how empty it was. Uh, we haven't, I mean, all the other parks we've been to, there have been people and families mm -hmm. and you see cars there. But ours, it was like people just left their trailers there or yeah. they would not be there during the day and come back in the middle of the night and have a party and then leave. It was weird. It was it was strange. It was one weird scenario. Everything else was pretty normal. It was just a bunch of quiet. Yeah. Other than that, it families, was really but, quiet. Yeah. And and if you like dark and quiet in small towns, then uh, with North, a golf course, North Point Landing is your your place to go. Yeah. And in the springtime, the blue bonnets are really nice. Um, if you ever do get to travel to the Texas area, I definitely recommend springtime because it's not too hot yet. Um, and the blue bonnets and all the wildflowers are out, which is yeah. really, really nice. I think I take that for granted for sure. Of course, today's a little muggy and buggy, but <laughs> besides that, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's supposed to rain all this week. Yeah. Um, so we have been trying to just be outside while it's sunny, yeah. because after this winter, we're just glad to have anything. But I think that's it. That's all. I think that's, that's I it. Have. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If y'all did, make sure and hit that thumbs up. It lets us know that you enjoyed it but it also helps other people find the channel and find the videos. Feel free to share them. And if you'll have any questions or want to see any other daily routines, post them in the comments below. We're more than happy to uh, to accommodate. Oh yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> well, that's, that's like our motto. It's like, yeah, the motto is supposed to be like, have fun out there. <laughs> have fun out there. <laughs> but it's really, it's like, we'll figure it out. Good luck out there. Yeah, good luck out there. <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was what the, remember whenever we left, after we got the RV, that's what the guy said. <laughs> Maybe that's where you came up with it, because he was like, he's like, yeah, you guys will be fine, y'all be fine. Then he's like, good luck out there, and we're yeah. like, wait, what? Maybe that's where I did pull it from. I just made it a little more positive. Yeah, <laughs> I like it though. It's got a story behind yeah. it. Good luck out there. Okay, well, I think that's gonna be it. Like I said, make sure and hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, we put out videos weekly, even though we did miss Friday, but that's okay. We'll be we'll be back on track. That's it. Any other any other closing ar arguments? Arguments? No more closing <laughs> arguments. <laughs> We're gonna go get some sushi. Yeah. Have a good night, and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. Have fun out there. Bye.